Thank you for joining me. This is Flyman Mavic. If you are a Phantom 2 Vision or a Vision Plus owner, I've got some bad news for you if you're using Apple. Uh, just bear with me a second while I just reset this range extender and I'll show you exactly what's happening. And, um, uh, I found out this morning so I was got to get a couple of quads ready for uh, selling. I've got a couple of Visions and I thought I'll just check everything's working. And uh, I had problems um, binding. Uh, now normally, as you know, the binding process is quite simple. Uh, you bring up your settings, and you turn your Wi-Fi, and you join to the Phantom Wi-Fi, which it's done there. Let me just turn the Wi-Fi off on that, doesn't accidentally join. And then if I just turn the brightness down a touch, you can see what's going on. Uh, once I've joined the Phantom Wi-Fi, if I then go to the DJI Vision app, can't see that very well, can you? There we go, it's better. And if I go into settings, and I scroll down to binding, you'll see it pops up this message, Wi-Fi repeater connection failed. So of course you think, well, it must be the, 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 the repeater, obviously. So what I'll do is I'll just kill that and I will go onto the iPad. I'll just turn that off for a second. If I turn on the iPad, now the iPad's on iOS 12 and this is on the latest iOS 14. Uh, we've got, there we go, that's the uh, Wi-Fi joint. Just turn the brightness down and such. There's the brightness, that's okay. Uh, okay, so we now connect, as you can see, to the Phantom Wi-Fi, and if I go into DJI Vision, and I go into Settings, and I scroll down, and I go into Binding, not touched anything, exactly the same, you will see that it quite happily goes into the Binding section. So this is the bit of the video I've had to edit, because um, I got a quad in for repair, picked up the iPhone, just to test it with, and I got the message Phantom disconnected. So at first I thought, mm, might be a binding issue, but I thought I'd grab my iPad because I know that works fine. Test it on the iPad and the, the, the module was all right. So it shows that it's not just the binding process, it's also the app itself uh, that's now stopped working on iOS 13 and 14. So what does that mean? Well, it just means that if you've got an iPad or an iPhone and you're being offered the update, uh, don't take it. Turn off auto update because Apple devices have a tendency to update themselves overnight. Turn your phone off, turn your tablet off. Uh, don't let it update. Uh, turn off all the auto updates. It's in settings. Uh, because there'd be nothing worse than get up in the morning, sunny day, you decide you're going to go flying and you get there and your app's not working. I mean, it's bad enough we lost Litchi earlier this year because of something DJI did. Um, so now you're losing the Vision app as well. It's slowly being phased out. There's probably going to come a time when you can't use the Vision app at all. Anyway, that's just the quick amendment to this video. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Uh, take care, and as always, fly safely. And we're out.